Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be discussing how to get the cross on the 3x3 Rubik's Cube, and we're going to do it with the most beginner method that most people use, which is called the daisy. And it's called the daisy because the first step of it is you get this pattern here where it looks like a daisy, where you have the white petals of the flower and the yellow center. So that's what the daisy is. And the whole point of this is to get what's called the cross. And the cross is when you have the four bottom edges aligned with their correct center on the bottom, so it kind of looks like a cross. All right, so that's the first step of solving the Rubik's Cube. You have to get the cross. And the most beginner method is normally people start with getting the daisy. Now the audience for this video are people that are either brand new to the cube and somebody said you need to learn how to do the cross. That's the first thing. So that will, this video will teach you. Or if you want to learn a way to teach people how to do the cross. Uh, I've been teaching quite a few people how to do this. And especially with the younger audience, they need a very consistent way to solve the cross so they can remember because sometimes they might play with it for a few minutes when you're around and then maybe a week will go by and then another few minutes here and there. So they need a, a easy, consistent way to remember how to solve the cross and this video will teach you that. Now, for the purpose of this video and for thoroughness, I'm going to assume that you don't know anything about the cube and you've just started trying to solve the Rubik's Cube. There's a couple things you need to know about the cube before we really get started. When looking at the Rubik's Cube, the center color will determine the entire color of the side once the cube is solved. So if you look at the yellow center, then this entire face will be yellow. If you look at the orange center, this entire face will be orange whenever you're done with the cube. So in order to determine what color the side is, you always look at the centerpiece, because the centerpieces don't ever move. They don't ever change, so if you look at the blue, you know this whole side will be blue when we're done. Uh, we're going to be moving some top moves, some right moves, and then we're going to be rotating the cube. And those are the only three things that we're going to do on this video. But we also, the cube also has left moves, we have some down moves, and then we have some back moves and front moves. We will not be using back moves or front moves for this video. We only will be using these right moves, these top moves, and then we will be rotating the cube like that. It's also important to note that as you learn more about the cube, all of the knowledge that you gain will be building upon previous knowledge. So most of these tutorials that you see online, they will start with a very basic concept and then they say, okay, the more advanced version of this concept is this. So what, what we're actually going to do in this video is we're going to show you a very, very easy way to do the daisy. And then we're going to show you a little more advanced way to do the daisy. And it may seem silly to learn an advanced version of something that you're never going to use after a certain point in your cubing life. But the things that you use in the more advanced version will be directly applicable to the basics of the cross, which is, will be the next video. So it's important to understand the concepts because all the concepts in the series will build upon each other. And the more practice and the more knowledge you get about how the pieces are moving around the cube, the better you'll be. So with that, all that being said, let's get started. So in order to get the daisy, you need to follow a couple steps. But we need to understand where the pieces can be and what they are doing. So when we look at these white faces, they can only either be in this middle layer here, or they can be in a middle layer here. Those are the only places that they can be. So when we're looking at a piece, it's either in the, the top or bottom layer, or it's in this middle layer. And there is a slight difference to the two. And basically what we're going to do, and I'll go over once quickly and then I'll break down every step in more detail here in a minute, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to find a piece and we're going to put this piece on the right face. So we're going to find whatever piece we're looking at, so we'll do the, the green white piece, and we're going to put it in this right face. And then we're going to check this top piece to make sure it's not white, and that'll be important later, you'll understand why later. But this is not white, so we're okay. If it was, we would just move it out of the way, but it isn't, so we don't have to. And then your white face can either be facing to the right, or it can be facing kind of either towards you or up or away or down. So if it's here, here's it facing towards you, here's it facing up, which is what we want. This would be facing away from you because it's back here. And then if it's down, it'd be facing down. So you, you, it can only ever be facing kind of along this edge here, or it could be facing to the right. So it could be in one of these four positions. So when we take our piece, and we're gonna be looking at this piece, the white green piece, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the right face until the white part is either right here or right here. So we're looking at this piece here, so we're going to rotate. 
and that's not there, so we'll rotate it again, and now it's right here. So now it's where we want it. So this is positioning the piece so we can put it in the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paint, we're going to rotate the cube so that piece is facing you. And now that that piece is facing you, we can put it in the top layer, but the danger is we can break up work that we've already done. So we're going to look at the white face right here, and or the face right here, and if it is white, then we're going to move it out of the way. If it's not white, we don't care. And then, in order to get this white face up here, we're going to move this right face up once. And it's going to put a petal on your daisy. So really we need an empty spot here to move up so we don't break any of our hard work up. And then we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to find another piece. We're going to rotate the cube until this piece that we're looking at is on the right face. So if you turn the right face and it moves, then you know it's positioned correctly. And now we have to put this white face either here or here. So one of these two positions. But before we do that, we have to check to make sure we have an empty slot. Because as we're moving this, we might break up any work that we already have. So if this was already here, then we need to move this out of the way. Because if we were moving this back here, we'd break that work up. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this out of the way. And now we're going to move this piece here. So we're going to just keep moving our moves until you see them here. Then we're going to rotate the cube. And then we're going to lift this up in the top slot, but we have to make sure this piece is not white. So it's not white, so we can just lift this up in the top slot. And then we're going to find another piece. There's another one. We're going to rotate the cube until it's in the right face. So if you just wiggle the right face a little bit, if the piece is moving, then you know it's in the right face. And then we're going to put it in the top, but we have to make sure this is not white, and it's not. So we're going to put this right in the top. And then we find our other piece. So here's our other piece. We're going to rotate the cube until it's in the right face. So you wiggle it a little bit, and if it moves, we're good. And then we need to put this back here. Or here, but it's on the inside face, or it's, you know, it's facing to the right. So it's always going to be here, 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 or here, and we need to have it right here. So we need to move this here, but we have to make sure this is not white. Because if we do, we break our white. You know, we, we take it out of the top layer. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move the top face, and it's still white, so we're going to move the top face again. And now we're going to move this to the right. Or, it works this way too, it just takes another move. Eventually it'll get there. And then now we can rotate the cube. And then we need to put this in the top, but this is white. So we're going to rotate, make sure there's no white. Make sure there's no white. Now we have an empty slot. And now we can move this up. And now that gets you the daisy. And then once you have the daisy, the second part is extremely easy. What we're going to do is we're just going to look at the center color. And then we're going to keep moving this top face until we find one that matches. So we found one that matches, and then we're going to place this face on the bottom with an R2 move. So we're just going to move that twice. So we're going to put it from here down. So see that again? Here's the white face. We're going to move it twice, and it puts it on the bottom for us. And then we're just going to rotate the cube once, and then we're going to look at this color. And we're going to just move the top until you see the same color match up, and we're going to rotate it twice. There's an orange face. We're going to rotate. Oh, there's an orange. And then finally, the blue. And then there's your cross. Okay, so to cover the steps again, to get the daisy, we're going to find the piece we're looking for. We're going to put it in the right face. We're going to make sure there's no white on top. We're going to position the piece correctly. And then we're going to place it, insert it onto the top layer. So. Again, we're going to find a piece. We'll just do this one. And we again, we have to remember that we always have yellow facing up and we always have white facing down. That's the most important part of this because if you're looking around and you find a piece and, oh, there's a piece, and you put it in the right face and do this process, well, it's not going to work because white's not on bottom and yellow's not on top. So we have to make sure that yellow is always on top and white's always on bottom. And we'll find a piece. We'll check the top to make sure it's not white. We'll put it either here or here. So we'll put it right there. And all you're doing is moving this face until it shows up in the right spot. So you just keep moving right until it shows up in the right spot. And then we're going to rotate the cube. We're going to make sure this isn't white. And we're going to move it up. And we find another piece. Oh, there's another piece. So we put it in the right face. So it's if it was like this and you saw the piece, you would have to rotate the cube until this piece is in the right face. 
you can wiggle it, and if it moves, you can tell it's in the right place. And then we have to put this piece here, or here, so it'll go here. But there's a white here, so we have to move that out of the way. So we move it out of the way. And then we rotate this until we have white here. And you can also do it this way. It just takes a little longer. We're watching this piece. And then we're going to rotate the cube to face you. We want to put it up here, so we got to make sure there's no white up here. And then we move it right up. And then we find another piece. Oh, there's one. So we're going to put this in the right face. It's moving, so we're good. We're going to put it here, but we got to make sure there's not white here first. There's not. Just going to keep moving until it's in the right spot. We're going to rotate the cube. We're going to put it up, but there's already a white here, so we're just going to move that out of the way. And put the white up. And then, oh, here's another one. So, this is already facing you, and it's already positioned correctly, so it's in the right face. And it's right here. So if it was down here, we would have to put it up here. And then we have to check the top, make sure it's not white. Move it up. And then that's getting the daisy. Now the other scenarios that you could have are if you have them on the bottom and you already have something above you. So if we're looking at this piece, you put it on the right hand side, and you wiggle it. That's right here. So we need to put it either here or here so it's it's on the circumference. So it's not going to show up in the middle here or on the inside section. It's going to be on this outside ring. So it needs to go here. But there's a white on top. So we're going to move that out of the way. Oh, there's another white on top. So we're going to move that out of the way. And then we can rotate this until it's positioned correctly. And then we go to the next step, which just happens to be moving it up here. So if you see one on the bottom, you can just move it straight up. But to follow the process, you would move it here, check white, move it if you need to, and then move this up again. And then our last piece is right here. So we're going to rotate the cube, put that in the right face. We're going to put it on top, but we have to make sure this is not white. It is, so we move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. Place it here or here. And then now, place it up. And then now we have our daisy. Going to step two of this is to get the cross from the daisy, which we look at our centerpiece. We just rotate the top until we see the correct, you know, you can tell it's a little bar, and then you just R2 it down. And then rotate the cube, here's blue, rotate it down. Rotate the whole cube, you know, all we're doing is this, to spin the cube around. So here's the red, there's our red, rotate the cube, and our grain's already lined up, and we're good. So that's the basics of the daisy cross. So once you have that, then there's a couple efficiencies that you can make to make this go a little faster. And as the series continues, I'm always going to be identifying ways that you can make whatever current level you're at just a little bit more efficient because it all builds on each other. So in the case of the daisy, instead of having to always put it on the right hand side face, and what, this section of the video is really only for people that are already comfortable with the daisy and we just want to get a little faster at it. And what we're going to do is instead of putting it, always putting it on the right hand side and putting it in the back and then moving it up, basically anything in this middle layer here, so if you have a piece like that, so anything in this middle layer, so here's one in the middle layer, well, just point it at you. So take it, point it at you, look at the top, and then move it up. But you can also do this for, let me set something up here. Uh, you can also do this for the left hand version of it. So here's a piece, and we're just going to point it at us, and then we're just going to check the piece above it. So if this is not white, then we know we can move this right up in the top without breaking up any of our work. So we're just going to take this piece, and we're going to move our left move up to put it in the top layer. So if it's in this middle layer, if you see a piece in this middle layer, all you have to do is point it at you, check the piece above you, move it out of the way, because there's a piece here. You know, it's white here, so we have to move it out of the way, and now it's not white, so we can move it up. And then, oh, there's another one. So it doesn't have to be on the right-hand side. It can be on the left-hand side. The same process applies. You're just going to do it with your left hand. So here's a white piece. We need to move that out of the way. There's another white piece. We'll move it out of the way. And then we can move it straight up. And then getting the cross from the daisy is exactly the same. Now another thing you can do is if... 
So we've covered all the ones where they're in the middle. You just take it and you place it right up. If they're in this kind of vertical middle row, so if they're in this row, then what we need to do is, when we put it on the right hand side and we move it back here, so we're basically moving this piece back here, all we're doing is we're putting this piece in the middle layer and then following the process we just did. So if you see a piece that's on the top or the bottom, well, all you have to do is put this piece in the middle layer somewhere. We just have to make sure that there's no white here. So if it's like this, so here's my piece, but there's a white on top. Well, I need to move this in the middle layer, and you can do that by doing a front move, or you can do that by following the process. And But you know you're going to have to move this white piece out of the way. So you would just move that out of the way, and then when you move that, you're actually putting both of those pieces, or that piece and just happen to be this other piece, but you're putting pieces in the middle layer, so you can put them up in the top layer easily. So we'll move that out of the way, and then we can move this right up. But then this one, we can move that one right up too, because it's facing you, we can just move it right up. And then our last one, here's our piece. We know we're going to have to move this to get it in the middle layer somewhere, right? So we either have to move it this way or this way to get it in this middle layer. And there's a piece right here, so we're going to move that out of the way. And then we can move this either by putting it on the right and moving it, or you can just do a front move. If you do a front move, as long as there's nothing up here, because when you move the front, you're going to be messing up whatever's on this face. So if you see it here, just make sure this face isn't white, and then you can do a front move. And then the same process applies. It's on the left now, so we'll check this piece, move that out of the way, and then move it up. And that's done. That one's done. That one's done. And that one's done. Now, once you... Let me do that again. Once you have... There. So once you have the daisy, you don't have to always do the right-hand side and the rotate. If you see, like this left-hand side, this one's done. So we know we can just rotate this one around. And then we rotate. And then this one's done. Oh, so we know we can rotate that one around. So the ones that are already matched up, just find those and rotate them right around. And remember, the most important part of this whole thing is you have to make sure that your white or your yellow is facing up the entire time, and your white's facing down the entire time, or this will not work. And this is what I've seen most people. So when they're looking for a piece, they move around, and they find the piece, and then wherever they find the piece, they stop, but yellow's not always facing up. So you have to make sure that yellow is facing up when you do this process. And we'll just do one more really fast just to kind of make sure we understand the process. So we're going to find a piece and we're going to put it on the right hand side and we're going to wiggle the right hand side a little bit just to make sure if the piece is moving we know it's in the right hand side. And then we're going to place it either here or here. So there's one here. So we're going to check this top, make sure it's not white, and move it up. And then here's our next piece. We can wiggle the right so we know it's in the right spot. We need to put it back here. Here or here, but if it's on this face it'll be back here. Check the white top, move it out of the way, move this over, point the thing towards you, make sure there's no white here, and move it up. Where's my next piece? There it is. So here's my other piece. I'll put it on the right hand side. Make sure there's no white on the top because we gotta move this back here. So we gotta make sure there's no white here. So we'll, we can move it like that, or if we move it like that, we're just putting an empty spot here. Then we're gonna place this white face right here. Or rotate the quick cube so it's pointing towards you. Check the white top here, move that out of the way, move it up. And then from daisy to cross, look at your center. There's our center. We're going to do an R2. Rotate the cube. Blue looks like it's already matched up. Hey, red is too. And so is green. So. There is your cross. That is how to do the cross with the daisy. It's the most beginner method that I am aware of, and that's what a lot of people start on learning how to do the cross. The next video will be all about some of the basics on solving the cross on the bottom. Instead of having to get the daisy and then moving it down to the bottom, we're just going to solve it right on the bottom. And there are a lot of different patterns and techniques you can use to efficiently build the cross. So if you have any questions on the daisy or anything that we've discussed, leave a comment in the comment section below. And until the next video, happy cubing.